What is the longest book in the Bible? The Book of Psalms holds the distinction of being the longest book in the Bible, comprising 150 individual psalms or hymns attributed primarily to King David and other ancient composers. These poetic compositions cover a wide range of themes, including praise, lament, thanksgiving, wisdom, prophecy, and royal coronation. The Psalms are revered for their lyrical beauty, emotional depth, and spiritual richness, offering believers a source of comfort, inspiration, and expression in times of joy, sorrow, or uncertainty. Psalms has been cherished by worshippers throughout history as a timeless reservoir of prayer and praise, reflecting the diverse range of human experiences and emotions in relationship to God. Which biblical figure is known as the father of faith? Abraham, revered as the father of faith, occupies a central role in the religious traditions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. His story, chronicled in the book of Genesis, portrays him as a model of unwavering trust and obedience to God's promises. Abraham's journey of faith begins with his call to leave his homeland and journey to a land God promised to show him, despite facing numerous trials and uncertainties along the way. Despite his advanced age and the challenge of childlessness, Abraham believed in God's covenant promise of descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. His faithfulness was epitomized by his willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac, in obedience to God's command, ultimately demonstrating his unwavering trust in God's providence and faithfulness. As a result, Abraham is celebrated as the patriarch of monotheism and the exemplar of faith for believers of all generations. What was the name of the river where Jesus was baptized? Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River, a significant waterway that holds profound symbolic importance in biblical narratives. The Jordan River serves as a border between the ancient lands of Israel and Jordan, and it features prominently in the Old and New Testaments. In the New Testament, the Jordan River becomes the setting for Jesus' baptism by John the Baptist, marking the beginning of his public ministry. This event symbolizes Jesus' identification with humanity, his anointing by the Holy Spirit, and his commissioning for his redemptive mission. The Jordan River continues to hold spiritual significance for Christians, who often participate in baptisms and pilgrimages to its waters as a symbol of spiritual rebirth and renewal. Who betrayed Jesus to the authorities for 30 pieces of silver? Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' twelve disciples, infamously betrayed him to the religious authorities for thirty pieces of silver. This act of betrayal, recounted in the New Testament Gospels, is a pivotal moment in the Passion narrative, leading to Jesus' arrest, trial, and crucifixion. According to the Gospel accounts, Judas made a clandestine agreement with the chief priests and elders to hand Jesus over to them in exchange for payment. He identified Jesus with a kiss in the Garden of Gethsemane, thereby facilitating his arrest by Roman soldiers. Judas' betrayal serves as a cautionary tale of greed, treachery, and moral failure, contrasting with the loyalty and selflessness exhibited by Jesus and his other disciples. The consequences of Judas' betrayal highlight the profound moral and spiritual implications of betrayal and the complexities of human nature. How many plagues were inflicted upon Egypt in the Book of Exodus? The Book of Exodus recounts the story of the ten plagues inflicted upon Egypt as divine judgments aimed at securing the liberation of the Israelites from slavery. These plagues, sent by God through the prophet Moses, are depicted as miraculous signs of God's power and sovereignty over creation. The plagues progressively escalate in severity, culminating in the death of the firstborn sons of Egypt. The ten plagues are, 1. Water turned to blood, 2. Frogs, 3. Gnats or lice, 4. Flies, 5. Livestock diseased, 6. Boils, 7. Hail, 8. Locusts, 9. Darkness, and 10. Death of the Firstborn. Each plague serves as both a judgment against Pharaoh's hardened heart and a demonstration of God's faithfulness to his covenant people. The ten plagues represent a dramatic showdown between the God of Israel and the gods of Egypt, showcasing the power and authority of Yahweh over all creation.